In terms of backups for disaster recovery, I've got nothing. Uh, Free Agent have, as far as I remember, distributed network of about 18 servers in a cluster in one location, and then further backups, as I think Jeremy was talking about, uh, in multiple data centers. So I trust them with my data, and so far it hasn't let me down. I think, you know, I echo on you know, the sentiments around the disaster recovery. Um, I think in terms of vendor lock-in, um, I think it's it's one of the, you know, the, the, the benefits and risks that you need to weigh up when you're running SaaS applications. And the reality is, is that whilst you can export data out in CSV format, um, try then, you know, manipulating that importing that back into another application to get the same experience is pretty much impossible. Um, but um, I mean, what, what, and, and, and the reality is, is that because it's a, a SaaS application, you you are paying as you go. You continue to pay on a monthly, yearly, or whatever frequency. And if you don't pay, the lights get switched off. So you know that is a you know something that people have to consider when they're buying these applications that is different to an on-premises application. Again, I'd echo that, but back to first hand experience. Before we showed this financial force, we, we used a Microsoft accounting package, and Microsoft withdrew support for that uh, last year, 2009, which meant we were isolated with a piece of on premise software with limited support, and we had issues with it, which means our accounting data was locked into the on premise, we couldn't get at it. So even the big names can potentially cause you problems, but at the end of the day, it's a judgment when you pick a SaaS vendor as to you know the likes of Salesforce and Financial Force and XB. These are guys that are big established companies. The risk of them going belly up, I believe, is fairly small, but it's certainly something that comes into the mix when you're considering to go with any vendor, be it SaaS or Rent.